It's disappointing to acknowledge the reality surrounding Starship, even given the commendable progress made with the vehicle. But what's causing this phenomenon? The same goes for Blue Origin's New Glenn, though the company is still in the early stages of testing. Meanwhile, SpaceX's lunar initiative, dubbed Blue Ghost, is ready to take off and will begin its journey early next year. Join us as we delve deeper into this topic in today's NR Studio episode. As the year draws to a close, Starbase is buzzing with activity, highlighted by significant progress in preparation for Flight 7. Following a successful static fire on Ship 33, both the booster and the spacecraft are currently undergoing inspections in Mega Bay and Mega Bay 2. This whirlwind of activity has instilled a sense of optimism in many, including myself, for a potential culminating launch before the end of the year. However, as time passes, that anticipation has waned, driven by a variety of related factors that need to be addressed. First, while the FAA has given formal approval for Flight 7, SpaceX has yet to reveal a firm launch date. The January 11th date, which is currently being circulated, is based on NASA's suggested timeline rather than an official announcement from SpaceX. Historically, SpaceX has typically announced launch dates well in advance, often accompanied by live stream schedules and various public updates. The lack of such announcements at this time suggests that certain constraints are continuing. Additionally, there are no reliable sources indicating launch readiness before the end of the year, and it is unlikely that Cameron County, which oversees road closures to ensure public safety during launches, will allow additional closures in the coming days in 2024. Hardware complications appear to be contributing to the delays. Booster 14, while it appeared to perform satisfactorily during static test firings, exhibited some anomalous behavior during its recent handling. Upon its relocation to the production site on December 10th, B-14 paused for a duration of two hours prior to being ushered into Mega Bay. Throughout this period, scaffolding and cranes were meticulously erected around the booster, with particular attention devoted to its grid fins. Although it is uncertain whether these actions represent standard modifications or are symptomatic of more significant underlying problems, they have certainly resulted in additional delays. Given the substantial checklist that remains, which encompasses checks, installations, rolling, wet stress rehearsals, and the installation of the flight termination system, the prospect of a launch occurring within the week appears increasingly improbable. Ground systems have similarly presented challenges subsequent to Flight 6. The tower communication system experienced a failure, and while it has been restored, its long-term operational reliability is still being evaluated. SpaceX may necessitate further enhancements to guarantee its reliability for the upcoming catching endeavor scheduled for Flight 7. Moreover, the orbital launch mount and protective barrier necessitate additional fortification and repainting to ensure operational safety. Adjacent to the site, advancements are ongoing in the enhancement of the tank farm, an essential infrastructure that underpins Starship's methane and liquid oxygen requirements. New tanks are being installed to supplant older units and augment capacity. This advancement is intricately linked to the anticipated escalation in the launch frequency of Starship, set to commence with Flight 7 in 2025. Nevertheless, the execution of these upgrades could potentially prolong the mission timeline even further. Concurrently, Launchpad B has emerged as a hub of activity as SpaceX gears up for upcoming missions. The construction of key components, including the water deluge manifold system, flame bucket, water cold deck, and chopsticks assembly structure, is currently underway and will be installed shortly. SpaceX is anticipated to have these systems fully operational by January 28th, in direct alignment with their objective of capturing a vessel during Flight 8. It is imperative to ensure that Launchpad B is fully prepared for prompt utilization following Flight 7, as this will significantly mitigate delays between missions and uphold their ambitious timeline for 2025. All of these elements have played a significant role in the postponement of the assembly of the two stages for Flight 7. The immediate execution of stacking is a pivotal milestone essential for the feasibility of a 2024 launch. Given that this has yet to transpire, the likelihood of a launch this year is rapidly diminishing. Although this delay may evoke feelings of disappointment, it is essential to acknowledge the substantial accomplishments SpaceX has achieved this year. Achieving four successful test flights of the Starship represents a remarkable feat, exceeding the anticipations of numerous observers. 
each flight has yielded invaluable data and insights. Advancing SpaceX towards its overarching objective of developing a dependable, reusable spacecraft that has the potential to revolutionize space exploration and transportation. These accomplishments have established a robust groundwork for what is poised to be an even more transformative year in 2025. Anticipating the future, Flight 7 is poised to herald a thrilling new chapter for SpaceX and its advocates. As we anticipate the upcoming launch, let us cultivate both patience and enthusiasm for SpaceX's remarkable journey. Advancements in technology frequently present obstacles, yet each challenge surmounted propels us toward a future where space becomes increasingly accessible. Collectively, we can persist in applauding the accomplishments of this trailblazing organization and the promising future it is crafting for mankind. Let us direct our attention towards New Glenn, this colossal rocket from Blue Origin, once heralded as a revolutionary advancement in space exploration, has encountered a series of significant delays, resulting in escalating frustration among both enthusiasts and industry experts. Should Blue Origin fail to successfully conclude the essential testing procedure within this year, it would signify yet another significant setback for the organization. Regrettably, a launch in 2024 is no longer viable. However, a promising sign of progress has finally emerged. Dave Lim, the CEO of Blue Origin, recently affirmed that the initial step will involve the wet dress rehearsal test, a vital procedure for verifying the systems of New Glenn. On December 19th, the eagerly anticipated test seemed poised to occur. Reports indicate that both stages of the rocket have been fueled, as evidenced by significant venting activity from the vehicle. To date, no issues have been reported, suggesting that the test may have yielded successful results. Nonetheless, this preliminary stage merely serves as the appetizer. The true benchmark that has captured the anticipation of all is the imminent hot fire test of the new Glenn's 7B4 engines. This assessment will ascertain the rocket's preparedness for its inaugural flight. This moment is pivotal for Blue Origin and represents a significant crossroads in the evolution of the rocket. The certification for the hot fire test, as indicated by LIMP, has yet to be disclosed. The FAA's most recent updates concerning Blue Origin primarily emphasize its classification as the fourth commercial space operator and its collaboration with the space data integrator. Considering the present advancements, the hot fire test could potentially be finalized by year end, contingent upon robust outcomes from the wet dress rehearsal and the timely acquisition of necessary licensing. Nonetheless, the failure to initiate a launch in 2024 stands as a conspicuous letdown. For a company boasting nearly 25 years of operation and immense potential, its failure to achieve significant progress is both surprising and regrettable. The postponements associated with the inaugural mission of New Glenn will undoubtedly engender considerable ramifications for several critical initiatives, encompassing NASA's Mars spacecraft launch, national security space launch missions, Kuiper satellite launches, as well as the company's advancement in its lunar rocket program. Concerning the inaugural launch, it is anticipated that, even with a successful hot fire test, the mission will likely be postponed until at least the first half of January. Further complications, whether arising from the testing phase or the protracted licensing procedure, may delay the launch even further. In the interim, enthusiasts of SpaceX can find comfort in the assurance that Starship Flight 7 is poised to launch well ahead of New Glenn's inaugural flight. It is indeed conceivable that Starship Flight 8, with its prospective recovery of both stages, could potentially precede the launch of New Glenn. As the industry prepares for 2024, the rivalry between these two aerospace titans is poised to be exhilarating. The pertinent inquiry at this juncture is how Blue Origin and SpaceX will conclude the current year and establish a precedent for the forthcoming one. Let us observe with keen attention. In conclusion, let us turn our attention to the latest developments regarding the Falcon 9 Blue Ghost mission update. The Blue Ghost lunar lander made its arrival at NASA's Kennedy Space Center on December 16th. In a release issued on the same day, NASA affirmed that the mission is slated for mid-January to be launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Should this timeline remain accurate, it is poised to be the inaugural lunar mission of 2025. The inaugural lunar mission of 2024 is set to be Astrobotic, which will be deployed aboard a United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket. As outlined by NASA Representative Joel Kearns in recent updates disseminated via X, 
The Blue Ghost mission is integrated into the Artemis program, albeit predominantly leveraging services from the private sector. The undertaking, referred to as Ghost Riders in the Sky, is set to transport 10 NASA payloads as part of the Commercial Lunar Payload Services Initiative. These instruments are meticulously engineered to facilitate a diverse array of activities, encompassing the study of solar wind, lunar geology and composition, radiation levels, electrostatic systems, GPS technology, among other fields. Alongside the scientific experiments, the mission encompasses two particularly fascinating activities. Blue Ghost will provide a comprehensive 360-degree perspective of a solar eclipse, a phenomenon that occurs when the Earth is between the Moon and the Sun, resulting in a unique and striking viewpoint. The upcoming experiment will examine the horizon illuminated by lunar dust, a phenomenon originally documented by Apollo 17 astronaut Eugene Cernan. This insight will provide critical data for the upcoming Artemis mission. The mission is expected to last approximately 60 days. The Blue Ghost spacecraft will initially remain in Earth orbit for 25 days, after which it will make a four-day transition to lunar orbit. It will then begin a 16-day lunar orbit before descending to the lunar surface. After landing, it will continue to operate for the duration of its mission until its batteries and power supply run out during the lunar night. Expectations for this mission are high, and with the reliable support of SpaceX Falcon 9, there is strong confidence that the expedition and mission objectives will go smoothly. Achieving success in this endeavor will not only enhance our understanding of the moon, but it will also strengthen humanity's ambitions to return under the auspices of the Artemis program. That's it for today's episode. See you next time.